Hi, welcome to my channel. I'm Maria and today I'm going to show you how my daughter and I transformed her bedroom into a grown-up retreat. Here's her sweet childhood bedroom before and I loved it, but she's ready for a change. She picked out this beautiful terracotta paint color because she wanted warmth and drama and this color did not disappoint. It's everything she'd wanted, very saturated. And we went ahead and painted crown molding prior to installation because she wanted, again, more of a grown-up look for this room, and crown molding does that. She put it in herself. Mary is very handy, and um, it, you can just see immediately it just adds that finishing touch to a room. Um, all the junk that was in the room, all the stuff, just got to paint around it, which we did keep on keeping on but that crown molding uh, it just was everything we needed for that space and for the floor molding we added quarter round to give that area of the room a little bit of weight in um, correlation with the upper molding just love how it looked and it's a great start a great foundation to a room makeover We actually ended up painting the doors, uh, closet door and the entrance door to, or exit rather, to help with the flow. Now this table is a table we found in the trash and it was in perfectly good condition except the face of one of the drawers fell out. So I sanded it down and we just basically gave it a makeover too. We fixed that drawer. Um, primed it really well then fixed that drawer front with a screw and glue primed it again and then i knew i wanted to paint those legs give them a nice warm color and this oil based paint is perfect for that we also wanted to update the whole desk and make it more classic so we added molding and then we have this wonderful installation template hardware installation template that makes getting your hardware in a snap and we found these vintage poles. I just love them, they're so sweet, and we knew they were perfect for this desk. So Mary's just drilling the holes that she set with that template. And then again with that gold paint, I wanted to just give them a little bit of a antique look. So I dabbed on some of that oil-based paint over the dark um, hardware, and then just kind of rubbed some of it off Oh my goodness, I love these poles now so, so much. Okay, on to the bed. We thrifted this for $25 at Goodwill. And of course, gonna put it right there. Um, Mary is putting on the legs here. It was completely put together. It looked brand new. I'm not sure why someone gave it up, but it, thank you. So then we went to the ReStore and Mary found this uh, chandelier and we knew we could fix this up to make something dramatic. The chandelier was, I don't know, $15, something like that. And again, with the gold paint. Here is the painted chandelier, but boy, do we have a surprise for you. We wanted to make it look like a French antique. So we took tin foil, that was tin foil. Mary did this, she, my idea, but she's the engineer and she made it happen. She cut out tin foil and painted it gold and she made leaves for the light covers. I just think she's brilliant. Yes, she's my daughter, but she's brilliant. So she makes these leaves and then puts the lamp, the, the light um, bulb holder in there. And do you see how she twisted the leaves closed up? Isn't that clever? And then she puts the light bulb in there and you have this totally French antique chandelier for pennies all right on to the windows we wanted to do this literally for like ten dollars so we bought these little hooks from Lowe's then these little styrofoam balls and we had plaster of Paris okay so we get a dowel right that's gonna cost you like six dollars spray painted it black and again covered it with gold for that vintagey antique look this was a fun job. Almost any paint job is a fun job for me. So what we wanted was to make something, like I said, for $10 that looked different, maybe even expensive. So we took the plaster of Paris 
and just put that over top the styrofoam balls, painted the balls black, and then went over top again, just like we did for the dowels, with a gold. And look at this cool dowel we have, or sorry, um, window treatment we have. Here she's just putting in those hooks. We, we painted those gold as well. And put the curtains on it. And we have a curtain rod for under $10. That is unique and looks, when you look close up, very, very unusual, very high-end, just different from anything you're gonna find for four times that on Amazon. So underneath the window, she put her collection of plants, and these are just Walmart curtains, very inexpensive, in a pretty taupey color. She wanted that warmth. I was very impressed with them. And a close up now of the beautiful plant collection she has here. And a lot of these planters are created by my mother. All right, so remember that armoire? It was like this huge white whale. We couldn't have it continue on that way. So we took some cardboard and then some fabric that really pulled in the wall color. And here I am just covering the cardboard with that fabric because I'm going to make panels. I could have just painted the whole thing, but we wanted something special. So here's the panel. And we then painted that armoire the same color as the walls and put hot glue on the front of the cabinet. And then Mary's taking the panels and placing them over top and just pressing them into place and I tell you it's been a year and a half and those panels are still there and in great condition this was a, a wonderful flip here's the reveal I mean come on this is crazy we did this room for under $800. Under $800 for this whole room makeover. How did we do this? Well, DIY, thrift stores, and Amazon. And Walmart. See, those painted closet doors were a must. Even the um, bedding was a great deal. It was a bit of a splurge. It was a Target purchase. This is an old piece I bought for her from her childhood. And we just incorporated it in new ways. It's now a plant stand. Love that. Love the look of these curtains. I think I love the price even more. <laughs> This is a jewelry stand. Oh my goodness. My mom and her did this from a branch to a jewelry stand. I have that on the blog if you want to see that tutorial. And just little pieces she's found at thrift stores. This uh, night stand, we have two of them. That's from a thrift store. We painted it. And then these baskets, it's a great target buy. This is vintage fabric made into those pillows. The, wow, she just really pulled this whole space together. Love the armoire now, absolutely love it. We added some modern takes to this room as well with the um, light fixtures here on the table or on the, the desk. vintage pieces on the wall love these oil paintings and look at these little hardware poles they're so cute we found a sweet little um cloth cloth clothing um holder and then these stacking oh my goodness i love this this is a target lamp that was a bit of a splurge and then some more vintage art 
These were an Amazon find. They had them on a clearance and I spray painted them gold. Some more vintage finds. So much fun putting this room together. And I'm so thankful Mary and I share the same um, ideas when it comes to decorating. This was a beautiful rug that just happened to match perfectly, again, at a thrift store. And then the Pied de Restance, this gorgeous, oh my goodness, vintage looking chandelier. Never think that you can't have a beautiful space, the space of your dreams on a budget because you can. If you're willing to put in the work, if you're willing to think out of the box, you can have it. Every time Mary walks in here, she's like, oh my goodness, I live in a magazine. <laughs> but we did this. It took us at least two and a half months to finish this and it was worth all the work. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing how we gave a budget-friendly bedroom makeover to my daughter's bedroom, and I hope you were inspired by it. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more budget-friendly DIY and home decor ideas. If you are a subscriber and you hit that notification bell, you'll be one of the first to be notified when a new video comes out. Thanks for watching.